In this problem, we're asked to find the average value of the function e to the 2x over the interval from 1 to 3. Um, e to the 2x is an exponential function, so it's growing like this. And 1 and 3 would be somewhere in here and here. And we know that the average value of a function over an interval is defined to be the, the height that a rectangle would need to be so that the area of the rectangle would match the area under the curve. So if we take this little piece up in here and snip it off, it should fit into there exactly. So this number right here is what we're really looking for here. We'll call that F average. And this observation actually has been embedded in it the formula. The width of this rectangle is 2, the height is F average, and the area of the rectangle must match the area of the curve. So if we write all of that down, that says that the area of the rectangle, which is 2 times f average, must exactly match the area under the curve, which we know from the fundamental theorem is the integral from 1 to 3 of e to the 2x dx. So the work involved here requires me to find the antiderivative of e to the 2x, evaluate at the two endpoints, that finds the area, and then I will solve for f average in this equation by dividing that 2 over. So, fundamental theorem, I need to anti-differentiate e to the 2x. Um, you can either get at this using substitution or we can kind of guess and check our way through it. The antiderivative e to the 2x is going to need a uh, e to the 2x in it, but since the derivative of e to the 2x involves uh, the derivative of the exponent, which is 2, I'm going to need a 1 half in here. All right. well, that's my claim. You can use substitution to verify it, or we can just check our work over here. Let's see. The derivative of 1 half e to the 2x is a chain rule problem. I'll pull the 1 half out of the way. Derivative of e to the 2x, e to any function, is e to that function times the derivative of the exponent. So the derivative of that exponent would be 2. And if I clean this up, that 2 will cancel that 2, and I see an e to the 2x. So this did check. The derivative of 1 half e to the 2x is e to the 2x. So the antiderivative of e to the 2x is 1 half e to the 2x which means the area under the curve then is this evaluated at the upper limit which if I put in a 3 for x I'll have an exponent of 6 minus this evaluated at the lower limit. If I put in x equal 1 I'd get an e squared. Now this is just a number that represents the area under the curve and therefore the area of the rectangle and I can now solve for f average. I'll divide both sides